Hi, I'm Mickey, a robot from Virtual Acoustic. I will introduce you to Virtual Acoustic second generation accordions, piano, button, and bass versions. First of all, I would like to note that all the sampled VA2G accordions are made in a completely different way compared to previous versions and other standard samples in general. Now the sound of each tone depends on the speed of pressing the key or button, on the strength of the stretching of the bellows, expression, as well as on the adjustable parameters that limit the existing ones. Therefore, if the value of the expression is higher, the tone will open faster and sound sharper, and as the value of the expression is lower, the tone will appear slower and will sound softer, just like on a real accordion. Each of the existing parameters can be limited in the MIDI range from 0 to 127 by four pair of knobs, and thus obtain the desired tone response. The tone is also affected by the value of the monophonic aftertouch, and the result of increasing its value is tone bending, which is naturally obtained by insufficient pressure of the key or button at accordion and thus limits oscillation and airflow through the reed. On the left side of the user interface are four knobs that are in charge of changing the levels of four different noises. The noise of pressing the button depends on the speed of pressing the key or button, and its total volume also depends on the key on button. The key off knob affects the noise level of the key or button release. The register knob regulates the intensity of the noise generated by each of the register switch. and the noise of the bellows that is present as long as a tone is present depends on the strength of the bellows, expression, and the corresponding knob called bellows. On the right side of the user interface there are two buttons, each of which determines the value of its effect, reverb and delay, or echo. Above them are options related to presets. Whatever settings you make that you don't like, you can reset to the default state at any time by pressing the INIT button. Restore to default affects all parameters except the selected register and system and rows in the button version. By default all presets are named default and are initialized. You can create a new preset by adjusting all parameters, including registers, system and rows at button version. Pressing the Save button. Selecting the preset number from the menu. Write a name to the field that appears at that time. And finally press the Save button again. The set has been saved, which is confirmed by the notification on the display. 
If you want to reset all presets to init or your own setting, first make that preset on the user interface or press the init button if you want factory default, then press and hold the shift note on a MIDI controller. Key number 96, or the first following C tone after the last active notes of the accordion, colored in purple, and while holding it down, press the init button. Thus saving the existing preset to all 20 menu presets and assigning them the name default. If you want to keep the saved set for the future, don't forget to save it before closing the instrument. You can override existing as well as save as new. In the button version, we additionally have already mentioned two more options, system and rows. The system switch changes the button layout system to B or C, while the rows switch determines the number of rows of buttons of the selected system. The base, left hand, version differs in some respects due to its functionality. In addition to the buttons and back switches that change the color of the buttons in their backgrounds, we also have switches to change the MIDI channels of bass tones and bass chords if they are on a different MIDI channel, which is the case with accordion MIDI systems. In that case, both bass tones and bass chords are in all four octaves but on different MIDI channels. <laughs> If it is a classic MIDI controller that works on one MIDI channel, then the first two octaves are bass tones and the other two octaves are chords. An important note is that in the first case where there are different MIDI channels, in the contact header of the interface, you should select Omni for the MIDI channel and in the second case the desired MIDI channel or also Omni. In the bass version, the registers are in the last octave, unlike the treble accordion version. Let the colors of the keys on the interface be your orientation. As for the visual part, the display shows both bass tones and bass chords separately. On the left is the last note of the bass tone, and on the right the last four notes of the chord, or the name of the accordion chord if detected. The bass buttons on the interface also respond the same way. If the bass tone is pressed, the corresponding button in all its instances from the first two button rows will be pressed, and if each chord tone is pressed and the chord is not detected then the corresponding interface tone buttons are marked with red X, and if the chord is detected then the corresponding chord button is pressed. This is the most basic about the new Virginia 2G harmonics and for more details I suggest you read the user manual. Until the next gathering, I wish you to enjoy the sounds of our accordions. Bye.